Hello all, in this video we're going to show you how to wake up the risograph machine, set up the trays, and load the paper. Here we go. Let's walk over to the right side of the machine. You'll find uh, the on toggle or button. Go ahead and push it on. And the risograph will start waking up. Uh, with a zero displayed on the screen. All right, then what we're gonna do is set up the trays. There's a very strong magnet over on this far upper corner. So you have to give it just a little bit of a tug and hold on to the tray the entire time to lower it, just like so. And then you, every time on a risograph you see a blue tab, that means that's the position they recommend handling from. So you can place your thumb right on the blue tab and tip up these side walls for the paper tray, just like so. And then we have a final kind of paper catch that comes down this way. These side arms also allow you to slide the arms to different size paper positions. And you do those individually, uh, but we're gonna set it at an A4 paper, which is a standard eight and a half by 11. And that's going to be the size zine that I make, all right? So this is the paper catch. Let's go to the other side of the machine where we find the paper feed. Same thing, it has a strong magnet that holds it in place. It's right in the center this time. Hold on to the tray all the way down till you get it to the lowered position. And now uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, adjust the side walls on the paper feed of four, eight and a, eight by eight and a half by 11 size A4 paper. So there are two blue kind of lever that are on either side of these side walls. I'm gonna lift up to disengage the lock. Same thing on either side, but you have to do both of them. And then they actually work in tandem. So I'm just pushing from the right side and it's a little light, but you can see there is markings for A4 paper or eight and a half, which is that width of the paper. So I'm gonna set it uh, close to the right position, I'll lock it, but I might adjust once I get the paper in two. And I'm gonna grab my paper stack. Hold on just a second. I've been told by those who know, oops, I've made this a little too small. It's okay, let me back it up. That Rizzo is happier to print with a bigger stack of paper. A lot of printers are like this. They get fussiest when they're towards the end of their paper stack. So I'm loading quite a bit in here. It looks like it's nice and centered. So now I'm gonna go ahead and relock my levers. Um, there are other also two controls. Again, you see them in blue uh, that let you define uh, the heft of the paper. It's kind of standard heft is a regular um, sheet of, of A4 printer paper. So not, not too heavy, not too light. And so that, this little arrow right here is kind of that mid standard, which is what we're gonna use. Um, and then also uh, if you're, uh, this little switch here uh, is set for lighter or less heavy paper. Um, if it's pulled to the right position. So this is the correct setup for standard printer paper, which is what we're gonna use uh, for uh, our zines or my zine that I'm creating right now. All right, the last thing that I wanna do is I wanna lift the paper up to have it ready to engage. And I do that with this blue center button. I just press and hold it until it stops all by itself. Um, and that means the paper is in the ready position. And that's it for this video.